Welcome back. In this section, we're going to talk about some different key transportation terms so that you understand the different parts of an intersection, a road, and the different forms of travel you may take. Let's get started. Here is our example intersection with a variety of different features. You can see the terms we will cover noted along the bottom. As we go through each term, I'll provide you with a brief description, there will be a visual, and the location will be noted within our intersection example. Let's continue. Pedestrians. A pedestrian is someone who is walking anywhere. This is all of us at some point in our day. Here you can see the pedestrian noted as number one. Cyclist. A cyclist is someone who is riding a bike also known as a cycle or a bicycle, anywhere. We hope more of you will find yourself in this position through our video series. You can see the cyclist noted here at number two. Motorist refers to somebody who is driving a car. We can also say driver or car driver, or perhaps you're a passenger in the car with someone else driving. You can see the motorist noted here at number three. A streetcar is a large public transit vehicle, most commonly seen in downtown Toronto within this region. Those streetcars can be noticed as red and white. An LRT or light rail transit vehicle is a more modern version of a streetcar that can be found now being built in cities across Canada, including soon right here in Mississauga, along here Ontario Street. In some other countries, a streetcar is called a trolley car and an LRT is called a tram. Both types of vehicles run on metal tracks similar to train tracks and also use electricity from overhead wires. In our intersection example, we have labeled a streetcar or it could be an LRT noted at number four. The streetcar or LRT tracks are guiding metal tracks used by the vehicle, as discussed in the previous slide. These tracks are permanent in the ground and are generally used to give the vehicle their own lane or right of way. You can see the streetcar or LRT tracks noted here at number five. A sidewalk is a paved space for pedestrians, built beside the road. A wider path made with black pavement is typically called a trail or multi-use trail, MUT for short, that can be used by multiple modes, but varies depending on local rules. Here in Peel Region and Mississauga, you can use any form of active, non-motorized travel on a multi-use trail. This could be walking, jogging, riding a bike, taking your kids in a stroller, or walking your pets. You can see the sidewalk, or multi-use trail, noted here at number six. A crosswalk is a painted area in an intersection where pedestrians should walk when crossing from one side of the street to the other. There are usually signals telling you it is safe to walk but you must always be aware of the road and those around you. If you feel it is unsafe to cross, even when you have the signal, perhaps due to a turning car, it is better to wait. We will cover this further in a future slide. You can see the crosswalk noted here at number seven. The curb is a concrete raised edge where the road ends and the sidewalk begins. There can also be a green space for trees, benches, garbage and recycling bins, or other street furniture, as it is called. The curb boundary can be seen noted here at number eight. Lanes are separate spaces within the road 
shown by painted yellow or white lines. This term includes bike lanes, which are marked with white lines and sometimes with a filled color such as red or green. You can see a car lane noted here at number 9, and remember number 2, that is a bike lane. Finally, the point where two or more roads cross is an intersection. Large intersections have electronic traffic lights. Smaller intersections have stop signs. You can see the intersection noted here at number 10. You should note, not all intersections will have roads in every direction. You might have one road which is ending and there is no path to go through. That would be called a T-junction. Always be sure that you are looking both ways when you are crossing an intersection and yielding to the appropriate types of traffic. Now that we have covered some of the main terms, are you ready for a vocabulary activity? We want you to test your skills with these terms as well as a few more we have in store for you. Please click the link in the description to be taken to our vocabulary activity quiz. That's all for this video segment. We hope to see you next time when we discuss walking. Bye for now.